Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a Karnataka style Badnagai Palya, which is essentially brinjal or bangan cooked in a very South Indian way that's going to be ground with fresh uh, condiments and spices tossed in coconut curry leaves and, um, and it tastes simply brilliant. And uh, I'm using a green variety of brinjal, which is a long brinjal, very, very typical to South India. And where I have actually slit the brinjal into half and then cut them into one inch sizes, right? So this is what I've used. And I have cut them, you know, prior and then soaked them in water. So when you soak the brinjal in water and then keep it while you're prepping all the other ingredients, it doesn't, it prevents it from getting black and dark and also helps in cooking the brinjal faster because it helps to absorb some moisture from the water it was soaking in. This is a little trick that I use that my mother taught me that always soak your potatoes in brinjal so when you're actually cooking it, it cooks faster. Okay, and also prevents it from becoming dark. So now to begin making this uh, palya, I'm going to preheat my pan. I'm going to roast a set of ingredients that is chana dal. So chana dal, I'm going to roast it until it's lightly brown. Chana dal usually takes a little while to roast. So you need to first roast the chana dal before you add the coriander seeds, the cumin and the coconut and the red chili. So uh, it takes about three to four minutes sometimes. You don't want it to brown too fast because if you do, it will be still raw on the inside. You want it to be completely roasted. So it needs a little bit of patience. Notice that the chana dal is turning lightly brown and uh, at this stage, don't allow it to become too black but at, at this stage, you know, you see some spots getting brown. Turn the heat to low and um, add in the coriander seeds, uh, the red chilies, um, based on how spicy you want it. I'm just going to add two and some cinnamon sticks, an inch piece of cinnamon stick. Okay, And we'll roast all these ingredients now until you just get the aroma of the coriander seeds. The moment you start smelling the aroma of coriander seeds, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to powder this fresh masala. Okay, So that's it. I'm just going to turn off the heat and add it into my mixer grinder. Notice that it is a coarse powder. It, you will find little chunks of chana dal, little chunks of coriander powder, coriander seeds. And it's okay to have that little chunk because it adds a great texture to the palya. Okay. And so it's important to make it a coarse powder uh, so that you can get the textures of everything when you're actually cooking the badnakai. So now the next step is to actually cook the brinjal and um, so I'm going to heat the same pan which I roasted it in. I'm going to add some oil. Once the oil is hot, I'm just going to add in the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle. I'll add in the curry leaves. Uh, I always like to tear the curry leaves and add it or finely chop it because um, when you finely chop it, you tend to actually eat it and it's really good for your health. Okay, and when you also tear it, the flavors come out much better. Okay, so I'm just going to add it in, turn the heat to low and add in the hink and then finally the brinjal. So now we will have to, I'm going to sprinkle some water as well. I'm going to bring, sprinkle some salt and allow the brinjal to first cook in the salt and the moisture until it becomes soft. So once it becomes soft and cooked, I'm going to cover the pan and allow it to cook. Once it becomes soft, then I will add the coconut as well as a fresh ground masala and then uh, saute it and cook it just a little more. Okay, so when you actually cook it, uh, it cooks faster without any masala and just when there is salt in it. So this takes about three to four minutes based on how tender your brinjal is. So while the brinjal was cooking, I kept sprinkling a little bit of water inside because the water kept evaporating and you needed to ensure there was moisture in it to, for it to continue to cook. And I kept stirring it as well and notice that the brinjal is soft and almost all the moisture is evaporated. Now there are two ways you can serve this sabji. You can either make it little gravyish or completely gravy or just semi gravyish And I most often like it semi gravyish and um, because it goes well with pulkas and rotis as well. So now that the brinjal is cooked, I'm going to add in the ground masala that we added and um, some turmeric powder and I'm going to add just a little bit of water so that we get a gravy-like consistency. Okay, 
this I'm just going to now because I added the masalas you want to ensure that you simmer for another three to four minutes until all the masalas get absorbed into the palya okay which is the brinjal bengal just gonna add a little more water and turn the heat to high and cook this until it becomes semi thick okay because there is dal remember which we roasted and added it's a natural thickener for any type of sabji even the coriander seeds which we roasted and added is also a thickener to sabzis so notice that it's quickly thickening and all the water that i'm adding is getting thickened so if you, if you add a little more water and you want to make it gravyish and you let the sabzi rest for some time you'll notice after some time because of the heat it will start thickening and becoming uh, more gravyish okay so i can add a little more water so um, the water is based upon how you want the consistency of the sabzi to be okay you can make it like a curry or semi gravyish or completely dry it's completely your choice so now that i've added some water there's one last ingredient that is important to add which is some fresh coconut okay fresh coconuts adds not only a lot of flavor it also adds to the texture and it tastes really nice and you can also roast the coconut and add it i like to add it fresh because a uh, fresh coconut always gives a different taste to a dish and it's different you know we always keep roasting and adding why not add a fresh uh, coconut into it that's it that's it the dish is ready now and um, all you have to do is turn off the heat transfer it into your serving bowl and serve it along with some fulkas hot steamed rice and ghee and um, uh, for your lunch or your week night dinner so i hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make the barnikai palya which is a long brinjal sabji made karnataka style with coconut and freshly ground spices Do give this recipe a try when you do don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below and also click a picture of the dish and put it in the comments below because I'd love to hear back from you so until then until next time happy cooking and healthy eating